All right, now the COVID-19 pandemic has shifted what used to be the norm for many around the globe. However, for research scientists, the disease was somewhat of a blessing in disguise as it has kept them on their toes in search of more answers, thus building their scientific knowledge. Raquel Moigai reports on just why the COVID-19 pandemic has illustrated the vital role researchers play in any society. Take a look. Well, my name is Agnes Mutiso. Uh, I work in the laboratory. I'm a laboratory technologist. And my key interest is looking at streptococcus pneumonia, which is a bacteria that causes pneumococcal disease, uh, such as meningitis, causes sepsis, and pneumonia. For the last 10 years, 32-year-old Agnes Mutisu has enjoyed every bit of this environment. One where the hum of the machinery is like a soft whisper in the background of white coated scientists transfixed on their experiments and research work. Uh, in 2011, we introduced a vaccine uh, called PCV10 that is targeting the 10 serotypes serotyp of streptococcus pneumonia. And so there is a publication that we did in 2019 that showed the impact of the vaccine uh, showing that there was a substantial reduction of disease that is caused by streptococcus pneumonia for the 10 serotypes that are included in the vaccine. While COVID-19 appears to have made a majority of people's lives less busy, Agnes and her colleagues who work on diagnostic works and whose expertise was needed in combating the virus have experienced the exact opposite. The workload has tremendously increased. My babies every morning would ask me, Mommy, why are you going to work? Why, why don't you come? Because sometimes I would get home and they're asleep. And they ask me, did you come yesterday? So I would explain to them, okay, you know mom works in the lab? Yes. So while mom is going to work, mom is going to test the sample so that we can stop corona and you guys can go back to school. That enabled me to explain to them so that they don't feel like I'm, I'm deserting them or I'm, be, I'm taking their time away. So I remember a couple of times when we could do the runs and then we need to repeat them and then calling home and saying, I'm sorry, I'm not going to join you for dinner. Yeah. And you could feel the, the, the voice of disappointment <laughs> in trying to say it's fine, but you can hear it's not, a, it's not fine. With 13 years experience in respiratory viruses research work, Dr. Charles Agotti says COVID-19 has forced him to put a halt on some of his research work. Given that their research consumables are not easily available, following the cessation of flights in various countries. Uh, surveillance, for instance, which uh, make a big part of our research work, were interrupted abruptly because uh, hospitals where uh, sick people are supposed to go so that we meet them to collect samples, uh, uh, patients were being advised not to go to hospital unless really, really necessary. And even though COVID-19 adds to the already demanding schedules, the virus has served them a blessing. The experience that I, I have now prepares me for future experiences or for a similar pandemic or a similar epidemic that might happen. I, for very long I was a respiratory virus researcher and it never really caught my attention that uh, I'll need to really work extra hard to give results which are required out there to make decisions real time. So in a way it helped emphasize uh, and remind me of the importance of the work I had been involved for very long. This owing to the fact that the success of a majority of their research work is made possible through donor funding or international grants, with local governments seemingly doing the minimum to sustain their research projects. Those like Charles, whose artistry is expressed in the most delicate and complicated experiments in the realms of pure and applied sciences, COVID-19 has somewhat become a blessing in disguise, not only making their schedules busier, but also proving how important it is to invest and appreciate in the work of researchers in the country. Raquel Mwigai, Citizen TV, at Kemri, Kilifi County.